Today, I'm gonna to show you how to transform your footage into literally anything using AI. Guys, today we have a banger video. It's a little bit less of like a hands-on tutorial because the software is pretty easy to use. With that being said, if you could like the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any tutorial ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I'm reading all the comments this whole entire month. Let's get into the video and break this down. So the software is called Runway AI. I'll have it linked down in the description. It's by far the easiest AI software that I've seen on the market so far. So the tool inside of Runway AI that I'm using in this video is the Gen 1 Video to Video AI tool. So then once you click on that, you can drag and drop any footage on your computer onto this. As right now they do have a 15 second limit on what you can actually do with the ai so if you want to have a longer clip you just have to split it up into 15 seconds so the first 15 and then the following 15 and i already have this footage of drake and Lil dirk pulled up i did go ahead and get the pro version of this i think it's 35 bucks a month if you do a month-to-month -month basis i'm not affiliated in any way i did reach out to see if i can get you guys to code that way you guys can save some money i just thought the pro version was nice because you can export at higher resolutions and just do a little bit more you can check out all the different plans to see what you want so basically on the right hand side you can use style references you can use images, presets, and then also prompts. The presets are pretty cool, but what I'm gonna focus on mostly is the prompts because honestly, they're the most fun. You can type in whatever you want and then the AI will make that. I made a notepad of a few of the prompts that I tried out. That way I just know what I used in the past. Let's go ahead and copy and paste one of these into the prompt. Before we go ahead and generate this, I like to go to advanced and this is where you can sauce it up and read. This one is structural consistency. Basically makes the structure of the video different from the original video. So the higher you have it up, the more different it's going to be. The lower down, the closer it's gonna be the original video. And the weight is basically going to factor in what the AI should focus on more, making it more like the original video or more like the prompt you feed it. So we can bring that up a little bit. And then the structural consistency, I'll bring up a little bit as well. These are all numbers and stuff that you can play with to make it your own. The frame consistency is basically how close each frame is going to be to each other. So if you want a more cohesive AI effect, the higher you bring that up, the better it's going to do. And if you want it to change a little bit throughout and maybe morph a little bit of the style throughout, you can bring that number down. I always personally check upscale. It does take a little bit longer but it's going to give you a higher quality version. And then I obviously always remove the watermark as well. And then if you only want it to affect your subjects, you can click effect foreground only. And if you only want it to affect the background, so everything besides your subjects, you can click effect background only. They also have a compare wipe. That way, if you want it to wipe back and forth to show kind of what the original looked like, and then also what the final looks like. I'm not super interested in that, but it is a cool feature that they have. Then once you've made all your settings, you can just click generate video. Depending on the length of your video, this can definitely take a little bit, so be patient. And then once it's done, you can play your example and download that footage. As you can see, I played around with a lot of different prompts here. And basically the way I would go about adding this into my video and kind of make it a little bit more cohesive, you can just make sure that it's scaled up properly. I think they export at a little bit different ratio. So just make sure you're lined up. And if you play it like that, you already have a pretty cool effect, but you can't really tell that it's like taking over the scene. So a way you can kind of make it like fade in and out is just keyframing the opacity from zero, going forward like five to 10 frames and keyframing it to 100 and then doing the same at the end. I also thought it looked nice to add a little bit of noise, but after that, that's pretty much the whole entire effect. You can implement it in different ways and you can use different props. I think this video is more about just showing you the tools and letting you know it's there. That way you guys can go experiment and figure out something on your own. Before I get out of here, if you guys are interested in any editing packs to help speed up your workflow and also just make your videos a little bit more unique. I'll have my website linked down below. They're by far the best editing presets, overlays, and plugins on the market. But yeah, if you haven't already liked the video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure you subscribe because like I said, I'm uploading every single day of this month, very quick and informative tutorials like this. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.